Well, hello, tubers. If you like to hike, bike, boat, travel, RV, or anything away in a remote area where cell phones don't work, I think you should take a look at the Garmin InReach Explorer because I think it's the solution for cheap satellite communication. We're going to talk about that today. Now, my last uh, career opportunity with government, I did work for the coroner service, and uh, I got turned on to these uh, devices because they were given to field investigators that worked in remote areas of the forest. Now, they didn't use this Garmin uh, item, they used the spot. And the thing I didn't like about the spot was that it would uh, save your ass, but you couldn't text anybody and get a direct, you know, back and forth two-way communication, and it didn't have any maps. So it was a cheap solution, but it did work. And uh, since I do travel to remote areas that have no cell service, and I'm at that heart attack stroke age, hey, what price do you put on your own safety and your own uh, rescue? I don't think you should put a price on it, actually. So I got one of these babies, and I activated it. Now, this works off the Iridium satellite system, so it is the network of choice for global coverage except for North Korea, Cuba, Sudan, and a few other places, which I doubt a few of you that are watching this are ever gonna go to anyway. Now these things sell for around $450 US and you will have to pay a subscription fee. There is various pricing on the subscription that you choose and it varies from country to country, so I'm not even gonna discuss it specifically because the price will be different. But I will say right now in Canada, I believe until the end of July, there is a $150 rebate on both the unit and the uh, subscription fee. So an incentive to buy one now. I actually got the last unit here in the valley. This was a display unit. And the second last unit was sold to somebody who was actually going back to those wildfire areas and they knew that they would probably have no communication. So this is also good for you preppers because let's face it, no infrastructure means you've got no communication. Now, unless the downlink uh, center in, I think it's in Arizona goes down or the satellites go down, I think this is going to work. Now, let's talk about the features. This has two-way communication capability of text messages or emails up to 140 characters anywhere in the world. So the world is a local call. So text your friends in France, text your friends in Canada. It doesn't matter. It's a local text message and another beautiful thing is the SOS feature on the side designed so you can't accidentally hit it all you have to do is pull this thing back hold that button down and your location will be sent to an emergency rescue coordination center that will send help and in the meantime you can actually text them the nature of your emergency which I think is a big bonus you can also plot and map your uh, travels and post it to Facebook and Twitter Although I would not recommend doing that in many situations. For example, do not be going on a long uh, trek somewhere, leave your RV on the side of the road or your boat, and tell everybody in the world that you're gonna be away by plotting it and putting it on your Facebook and Twitter. Probably not a good idea. Now I believe they gave me a Los Angeles phone number, which is uh, a little strange, but hey, it works. Um, and when I text somebody, because I've tested this out last night with a few people around North America, they actually can tell exactly where I am on planet Earth, where I texted them from, which is a pretty neat idea. And a bad idea if you're lying to your wife and saying you're actually uh, hiking when you're actually seeing your girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Now this model is the InReach Explorer Plus. This is the uh, top model, which I think the difference between this and the lower model is that the text messages are 140 characters versus 80 and uh, this has a bit more sophisticated mapping capabilities. Uh, I think both units are probably good, but be aware of the limits of what it can do. And I also suggest you activate and test this before you head into the bush, or the forest, uh, we call it the bush here in Canada, because you want to be familiar with how this thing works. And uh, remember, you must activate it with a subscription service. It will not work out of the box. So hopefully I don't have to use this thing for an emergency, but if I do, because I am heading into the deep uh, wilderness very soon, 
and uh, kind of nice to have, I think. So what do you guys think of these units? A much cheaper alternative to the Iridium satellite phone service, which is very expensive, and the voice quality isn't even that great, but it does work too. Hey, just my thoughts. What are yours? Put them down there. In the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground, and I'll talk to you soon.